Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review, tutorial and swatches of the new Violet Voss Sakura Palette. Um, Blossom, Sakura Blossom Palette. This is an 18 color eyeshadow and pressed pigment um, palette. So these are the colors right here. I have an issue with one of the eyeshadows so hopefully uh, I think it's this one, Tokyo. Tokyo keeps um, trying to pop out. I have to put some glue to stick her butt it back. But I love these little, like they look like cherry blossoms. I'm pretty sure they're Sakura flowers. That's probably why it's called Sakura Blossom. These are so cute. And then the mirror is huge. You guys know that. I didn't have, I love actually this mirror. You can see your entire face. I was do, using it a little bit when the beginning of my tutorial. And then it says Sakura Blossom Violet Voss. And then these are the colors so pretty in the back you guys they have all the names of the shadows none of the shadows have like little indentations that would you know basically tell me which ones are the pressed pigments i'm assuming it's the ones that are like the obvious ones maybe like this one that one i don't really see anything that would indicate it's a pressed pigment yeah maybe um pet petals might be one of them but i had no problems with the colors that i was using but then you guys if you guys have been following me for a while I don't really have sensitive skin. I never really have a lot of problems with eyeshadow. So it's just, it's just, just in case you guys, if you have sensitive eyes, I'm just warning you guys, it would be best to look on the website and see which ones are the pressed pigments in there. And if I get a chance to, I'll probably look it up and then I'll probably put in the description box which ones are not really ISIF or, or which ones are the pressed pigments for you guys. I'll put that in the description box. Um, hopefully I'll remember <laughs> so other than that let's do some swatches I'm gonna start with blossom right here which looks like between she looks like she's like this um, I want to say like a light peachy vanilla sort of like that yeah that's just one swatch I don't see myself ever using her but she doesn't look like a bad color Next to her we have Bubbly. Bubbly is what I used as my inner corner highlight today, you guys. And it is such a beautiful shimmer. I'm hoping you guys could see that. But it's very, look, it's very blinding. It's a very pretty color. I had no problems with it. Next to that we have Full Bloom. This one looks like a shimmer, but it looks like a bronze gold shimmer. Look at that. You guys see how beautiful that is? That is such a pretty color. Next to that we have Sweet sweet is this oh she's like a metallic shimmer very pretty like a dark pink very pretty sakura next to her is another shimmer and she is just oh she is this petal pink girl she's coming through look how beautiful she is just look at that on the eye you guys you imagine how good that would stand out oh that's so beautiful and then the last in this row is called Party. Party looks like a champagne shimmer. Very pretty. The shimmers in here are crazy, you guys. I love these. In the first row, in the next one, I mean, it's called Pink. And Pink is the second color I used today. Very pretty. At first, I thought she was a Super Shock Shadow, but after I kept adding her, adding her in, she can be built up. She shows up really good the first time, but if you wanted to keep building her up, you just get more intensity out of her. She's a very beautiful shimmer, though. Next to that, we have Tokyo. I'm loving Tokyo just off of just the finger swatch. Look how beautiful Tokyo looks. It looks like this peachy dual chrome. It has like a little gold shift to it. But right off the bat, it looks like a peach pink tone to it. Very pretty, you guys. And these are rubbing on like butter. Next to that, we have Spring, and Spring is a matte. And this one, ooh, look at like a coral. Oh my God. These colors, you guys. Next to that one, we have Petals, and Petals looks like this very vibrant um, metallic pink. A lot of glitter throughout her. Very pigmented, though, right? You can tell. She, she didn't come to play. And then next to that one, we have Blushing. Blushing is a matte. Ooh, I like it. Look at that one. That's just one swatch, man. Like, it makes you think, what the heck, you know? Like, oh, God, look at it. 
Then next to that one, we have Festival. Festival is a matte with glitter. She is just like this very deep wineberry color. Very pretty. I used her right here, but it's a, such a beautiful color. You guys, please be aware that with Violet Voss, I've already experienced this with one other palette that I own from them. I only own one other palette besides this one. And with their pigments, sometimes the pigment is so like, just so much dye in it, I think, that I'm pretty sure that's the part that probably irritates a lot of people with sensitive eyes. And the thing that happens to me is that even though I don't have sensitive eyes, I am not immune from stain. <laughs> I will occasionally, the last Violet Voss one stained the heck out of my eye. It took me a day and a half because like I'm oily skin, right? My, my own natural oils help me get the rest off. But still, it's like even after I've washed my face, that thing just like look, made it look like I had some type of bruising around my eye. <laughs> and then the next day I washed it in the morning, then I washed it in the afternoon and it came off. So it just depends on you. If you don't like staining on the eye, I probably wouldn't recommend this palette because I'm already experiencing some form of stainage on my fingers. Look like look like I I look like I ate a bag of hot Cheetos already. <laughs> so you guys have been warned. <laughs> In the first last drawer right here, we have Passion. And Passion is another shimmer. Ooh, I like that one though. That one's nice. I mean, these ones are crazy pigmented for pinks, though, you guys. That's what I'm saying. It's a give-and-take situation. You're going to get the pigment. You're going to get the intensity, look, color that you want. But you're going to have some form of stain afterwards. So, give-and-take, you guys. Don't expect for perfection. Some of these, even Jeffree Star stuff, like, I've heard the ones that are crazy pigmented are the ones that usually stain the worst. I've only experienced staining with like two of my palettes besides this one right now and hopefully the colors that I'm wearing are not going to give me that problem. Then we have Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale looks like this burgundy metallic one. Really good. Look at it. It's a nice one. I like it though. Next to that we have, I used Wild. This is a matte. I used it all under here. It's crazy pigmented too. Look, that's just one swatch right there and she picks up so good. Oh, God, look. You just get more intense. I'm telling you guys, these ones are... They didn't come to play, man. They came to show up. Next, we have Flower. And Flower is a matte as well. She is just this very neon pink right there. You see her? That's just one swatch. You can build her up as well. All of these can be built up. For the mattes, anyways. Next to that, we have Delicate. Delicate is my transition shade. She is just this very caramel brown. I love the way she came out on the eye, though. She came out so perfect on the eye. Then last, we have Season. I didn't get to use this Season today, but Season is this very dark um, chocolate brown. I was going to use her originally, but I was like, ah, I don't think I want to stick to the browns. You know, brown is considered me. For me, it's considered safe. That's when I picked this one down here. Lord knows tomorrow I'm going to probably regret that when I have this bright pink stain underneath my eye. We'll see what happens, you guys. Right now, I'm not that confident. <laughs> so that's it for the swatches, you guys. I really love this color story, though. I mean, if it stains the heck out of my eye, I really don't care at this point. I really like this palette. When I saw it on the Sephora website, because I saw it first on Trend, Man Trend Mood, and then I raced to the Sephora website and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I love these colors. And then when I got it, because I barely got it today today, and then I decided to just do the video on it because I was like, wow, I got to get this out, you know, to show you guys if you guys like it or not. You know, just be aware, like I said, you're going to have some form of, you know, staining maybe and then possibly some form of eye irritation because the pigments usually, you know, irritate people's, you know, sensitive skin. So that's it. Um, other than that, if you guys want to see how I created this look today, just stay tuned. Okay, you guys, for my first color, I went in with this color called Delicate. It is a very light um, brown. It, it's very pretty, though. I was like, wow, I like that color. It's very pretty. It's like a light, just this light brown camel brown to me that's what it looks like it's very it's perfect for a transition shade okay you guys for my second color i went in with this color right here it's a shimmer it's called pink 
Um, at first I thought it was a topper and then as I started using it, I just felt that it just had to be like built up. It is sort of like this really light shimmer, but, and then, so I kept thinking like, oh my God, it's probably a topper because that's what it looked like. But as I started building up more, I started getting the intensity. I wanted some, and it's actually a very beautiful color. It has very like a distinct pink to it. And at the same time, it has this gold shift to it. So it looks a lot like a dual chrome. For my next color, I went in with this color called Festival. It is a dark um, burgundy, I want to say like a berry tone, matte with glitter in it. And I just tapped this one into this corner right here. I actually really, really like it a lot. It's like this deep berry color. Oh my God, you guys, if you guys saw it in person, you would fall in love with it. If you guys like berry tones, because I know there's a lot of you out, you out there that's not just like me. You know, I love pink colors, especially berry colors. I'm telling you guys, I'm just a sucker for those. For my next color, I went in with this dark, it's like very deep. Um, I want to say it's like between a dark berry and then like this red to it. It's called Wild. It's very pretty, you guys. I use this all on the bottom of my lid. It's super pigmented. It picks up so well. Um, I've been watching this new uh, Netflix series, you guys. It's called Warrior Nun. And I'm already like on, I think, the fourth episode. It's super interesting, but I'm kind of waiting for her to like suck it up and be the hero that she needs to be because right now all I'm seeing is a coward running away from her duties. <laughs> I'm like, okay, she's a badass at the same time, but I'm like, come on, girl, are you going to hurry up and be the hero we need you to be or are you just going to keep on running away from your, from your actual uh, responsibilities here? For my inner corner highlight, I added this color up top that's called Bubbly. It's like a very champagne um, with like a hint of gold. These shimmers on here are super cute. I like, I love them because it's like, wow. They're not just, they look like they might be sheer, like a super shock shadow. But then when you start using them, you're like, no, actually it's not sheer. They show up so good by themselves. Really good formula. Violet Voss did a really good job on this palette so far because the ones that I've been using today I was like super happy with them after all these elf ones have been letting me down Violet Balls comes in to the wing <laughs> she comes to basically redeem everybody else that's been doing me wrong lately so that's pretty much it you guys let me do my mascara on this eye and I'll be right back to give you guys a close-up okay you guys this is the finished eye look today um, if you guys are wondering what I have on my waterline, it's just from BH Cosmetic. It's the white water. It's the white pencil one. But it mixed in with a little bit with the pink and it just created like this soft pink look in there. But other than that, I really like this palette, you guys. I think it's super cute. It has so many pink possibilities in there. So let me back you guys out and give you guys my final thoughts. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So this palette is cute. I actually do like it. I like the colors in here. It's 18 color eyeshadow and pressed pigments. So I'm not sure which ones are pressed pigments, but we know that pressed pigments are not exactly, um, I don't want to say they're not eye safe. I just have learned that for people with sensitive eyes, they're not really recommended because People with sensitive eyes tend to have their eyes water a lot or they'll have like, you know, a bad reaction to them. So, did you guys see that? One of the eyeshadows was popping out. Ooh, no, 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 honey. Yeah, bubbly, look at Bubbly is popping out. I'm going to glue her down. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, these ones, I'm assuming all the ones in here are pressed pigment. I'm not sure which ones are they, to be honest. I'll probably look them up later and let you guys know. If I can in the beginning, maybe with like some text messages or whatever. So that's pretty much it for today, you guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.